Once upon a time in the bustling city of Lagos, there lived a wealthy Nigerian boy named Ton. Despite his privileged upbringing, Ton longed for something more profound than material wealth. He yearned for true love, a love that transcended social status and glittering parties. One day, while attending a lavish gala, Ton overheard a rumor about a famous Nigerian king named Oba Ade. The king was known not only for his riches but also for his three beautiful daughters, Ada, Zora, and Gozi. The daughters were said to be as different as night and day, each possessing unique qualities. Driven by curiosity and a desire to find love, Ton decided to seek employment at the royal palace. He disguised himself as a humble chef, believing that proximity to the king's family would allow him to observe the princesses closely. As Ton stepped into the grand palace, he was met with disdain from the maids and guards. They scoffed at his simple attire and dismissed him as a commoner. Only one person showed him kindness, the palace gardener, Amina. Amina had sparkling eyes and a warm smile that melted Ton's heart. Ton's days were filled with culinary duties. He cooked sumptuous meals fit for royalty, yet the princesses barely acknowledged his existence. Ada, the eldest, was aloof and obsessed with her appearance. Zora, the middle daughter, was rebellious and preferred horseback riding to palace affairs. Ngozi, the youngest, was gentle but overshadowed by her sisters. One evening, as Ton prepared a feast for the king's birthday, he accidentally spilled soup on Ada's gown. Furious, Ada berated him, calling him a clumsy fool. Zoro mocked him, and Gozi looked away in embarrassment. But it was Amina who rushed to Ton's aid, wiping the soup off his hands. Her touch sent shivers down his spine. Don't let their arrogance break your spirit, she whispered. True nobility lies in kindness. Ton found solace in Amina's company. They shared stories under the moonlight, and he discovered her dreams of exploring distant lands. Amina was unlike anyone he had ever met, compassionate, intelligent, and free-spirited. As the months passed, Ton's feelings for Amina deepened. He couldn't bear the charade any longer. On the night of the Grand Ball, where the king would announce his heir, Ton revealed his true identity to Amina. Tears welled up in her eyes as she realized the sacrifices he had made for love. At the ball, Ton stood before the king, who was shocked to see the chef as a nobleman. Ton confessed his love for Amina, vowing to marry her regardless of her station. The princesses watched in awe as Ton's heartfelt words echoed through the hall. King Oba Ade, regretting his mistreatment of Ton, embraced him. You have shown me the true essence of nobility, he declared. Amina, my dear, you have my blessing. And so, Ton and Amina's love story became legendary. They traveled the world together, spreading kindness and breaking down social barriers. The princesses learned valuable lessons, and the palace transformed into a place of compassion and understanding. As for Ton, he discovered that true love wasn't found in glittering parties or grand titles, it was in the warmth of Amina's smile and the simplicity of their shared dreams. And so, in the heart of Lagos, the chef's heart beat stronger than ever, reminding everyone that love knows no boundaries. Fade out as Ton and Amina dance under the moonlight, their love story etched into the stars. <laughs>